The Gyanwapi Mosque is back in the news and this time a district court in Varanasi has allowed arguments to continue in the case. The court on Monday ruled that a case filed by five women demanding praying rights or worshipping rights inside the Gyanwapi Mosque compound is maintainable. But what does maintainability exactly mean and how will the case proceed in the district court? Will the matter come up before the Supreme Court too like it did in the past? Lots of questions surround this order and I'll answer all of them for you in this video. Now, the district court was hearing an application filed under Order 7, Rule 11 of the Code of Civil Procedure, which lists down the conditions under which a plaint or a plea or a suit can be rejected by the court. Simply put, it helps to determine if the proceedings in a case can continue at all and whether the court can hear it. The rule says that a plea shall be rejected if the relief claimed is barred by law. This is one of the grounds on which a plea can be rejected. The purpose behind such a provision is to weed out frivolous litigation and pleas to save judicial time and resources at the threshold. Now, since the district court has ruled that the suit in this case is maintainable, what this means is that the court will now decide on the plea filed by the plaintiffs on whether they have a right to pray inside the mosque. In fact, the court has already posted the suit on 22nd September for filing of written statement and framing, framing of issues. This means that the court will now formulate the issues that it wants to decide on and will hear arguments on it. Now, there's another confusion in this whole mix. As we know, one of the significant, most significant arguments from the mosque committee's side is that the suit is barred under the Places of Worship Act 1991. This law, as we know, forbids alteration. It bans alteration of, a, of the religious character of a place of worship from what it was on 15th August 1947. That means on that day, what the religious character of a place of worship was, that can't be changed. The district court's order passed on Monday rejected this argument saying that uh, this suit isn't barred under this law because the plaintiffs in this case only want the right to worship at the disputed property and are not claiming any ownership over the mosque. So they aren't really uh, claiming for a change in the religious character of the mosque. However, the constitutional validity of the law has been challenged by several petitions in the Supreme Court, including one by uh, BJP Rajya Sabha MP Dr. Subramanian Swami. The Supreme Court has listed the petitions for 11th October and has directed the centre to file a response in two weeks. But will these petitions challenging this 1991 law have any impact on the district court's hearing of the Gyanwapi uh, case? The answer is no, they won't because the Supreme Court has not issued any stay from its side on the trials and suits filed under the Places of Worship Act. Therefore, all the matters including those pertaining to the Gyanwapi Mosque would continue to be heard in the courts across the country. Now, there's another way also in which uh, this Gyanwapi case is going to come up in the Supreme Court. Hold that thought while I explain to you the journey of the suit filed by these five women. So basically, the women had filed the plea on 18th August last year. They demanded permission to worship Mashingar Gauri, Lord Ganesh, Lord Hanuman and Nandi idols within the contentious Kashi Vishwanath Temple Gyanwapi Mosque Complex in Varanasi. Now the Varanasi court on the day the plea came out, that is 18th August, ordered appointment of an advocate commissioner Ajay Kumar Mishra to conduct a survey of the place. The next day, on 19th August 2021, it also directed to videograph the inspection. A challenge to these proceedings, that is appointment of an advocate commissioner and all the proceedings to conduct a survey by the Banaras Varanasi High Court, was uh, rejected by the Allahabad High Court on 21st April this year. Now, this 14-page High Court judgment is important and I'd like, I'd like you to remember this. This judgment made no mention of the 1991 law and the survey of the mosque began on 6th May. The matter reached the Supreme Court on 13th May this year on a petition filed by the mosque's management committee, again citing the 1991 law and challenging the Allahabad High Court order. In response, the chief of Hindu Sena moved the Supreme Court claiming that the 1991 law does not apply to the Gyanwapi Mosque because the erstwhile Kashi Vishwanath Temple and Shingar Gauri Temple within the mosque complex fall under the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act 1958. The 1991 law exempts monuments covered by the 1958 law and that's the logic that they were trying to give. 
Now, this is also uh, the point when you might remember an application was filed before the civil judge senior division Ravi Kumar Devakar claiming that a Shiv Ling was found in the premises of the mosque during the inspection. Two reports on the videography survey were submitted to the Varanasi court around the same time claiming that debris of old temples were found at the walls outside the barricading and Hindu motifs such as bells, colors, flowers and trishul were visible on pillars in the Tehkana or the basement. This news of course went quite viral but on 20th May the Supreme Court refused to interfere with the survey. Uh, it did transfer the case to a district judge from a civil court saying that a slightly more seasoned and mature hand should be hearing such a case. So it asked the district judge to also decide whether the suit by the Hindu side is maintainable on a priority basis and this is the order that came on Monday. The Supreme Court said that also said that it was taking this decision with peace uppermost on their minds and to maintain balance and fraternity between two communities. There was another remark that the Supreme Court had then passed saying that 1991 law only bars conversion of religious places of worship but does not bar ascertainment of religious character of these places. That means uh, as for the Supreme Court that's what it remarked it didn't really analyze it but the court said that this law does not uh, prohibit anybody from ascertaining what the religious character of a certain place is. Now the appeals challenging the Allahabad High Court order which I had asked you to take a note of which as I said upheld the appointment of a court commissioner and the whole survey those appeals are still pending before the Supreme Court and this is how the Gyanwapi case will come up before the Supreme Court again as well. In fact, the appeals came up in July but the court said that it will await the district judge's decision on the maintainability application posted the matter for 20th October. So that's how now we'll see the matter coming up before the district judge as well with the arguments being heard as well as a matter coming up uh, before the Supreme Court. That's all I have for you for now. This is Apoorva Manhani for The Print. For more such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.